Christianity is on the decline. I know you needed some good news because I certainly did. Let's see what Pew Research has to say. Christianity is what they call stickier, meaning if you were raised Christian, that you would generally be identified as Christian later on in life. But now amongst young people, being unaffiliated is more stickier than Christianity is. Among older people, Christianity is stickier, but not with the newer generations. If the trends continue as polled, then we could likely see that by 2070, Christianity dipping below 50% of the population. There are many variables to this study that you can go check out on the Pew Research Study if you'd like. But what they're saying that if the trends continue, that by 2070, the nuns or those who are not affiliated with a religion will be the majority here in the U.S. They plotted out four different projections based on different variables. In scenario one, 31% of those who were raised Christian leave, but 21% who were unaffiliated become Christian. That leaves Christians with a slight majority. In scenario two, they applied the brakes on Christian retention, so that way they weren't losing as many. But that would mean less converts, which does not help their numbers either. Again, scenario three is if we stay on trend. The hypothetical for number four is that nobody switches religions, everybody stays the same. And that is the only hope really that Christianity has, but I'm gonna tell you why that's not gonna happen. The reason I think number four is less likely to happen because Christianity, as the study shows, is becoming less and less stickier. That means people are leaving by the droves. And why is that? Well, maybe it's because of commercials played during the Super Bowl where the wealthy, rich, elite Christians gloat their wealth in front of the rest of the uh, United States who are right now suffering food insecurities and housing insecurities. Christianity is undermining our rights. Everything is a sin. The world is going to end. They sell you the disease and they sell you the cure. The younger generations are not as easily fooled and that is why the church is trying so hard to indoctrinate children while they are young and they don't have their critical thinking skills. But again, Unless they change their tactics, they are going to continue to bleed out members. And guess what? This unaffiliated bitch is happy to hear about it.